Hey guys, it's the Battle Productions, and welcome to a new series on my channel. So it is involving the Pokemon trading card game, but it does involve looking at some old cards, because recently, while we're cleaning out our house, because we're moving soon, I uh, just came across some of my sister's old Pokemon cards, and some of these are pretty dang old from the couple that I saw before. I'm like, okay, you know what, before I look at all these, I better just make this into a video, because, yeah, it seems like some of the cards were from the original trading card game, like the uh, the original packs, booster packs, which I thought was pretty cool from the first couple I saw. So, without further ado, let's go open this up. I know I have some cards in storage somewhere, and hopefully I, I'll show those off as well. But yeah, let's pull this uh, rubber band off, and yeah, let's get going here. So the first couple cards is what I saw on uh, just, just recently, and then I'm like, hey, you know what, we should make a video on this. So, here we go, we got that Bulbasaur, it looks like this is from the original set, because it has copyright 1995 on there. So, yeah, it looks pretty, I mean, a lot of these cards are beat up, but this one actually looks pretty decent. Then we got ourselves a Sand Slash, and this one's copyright 2002, so this one's not as old, but still pretty cool. A Dark Gyarados, when, when did this come up? 1995, okay. So that's Pokemon Power Final Beam. When Dark Gyarados is knocked out by an attack, flip a coin. If heads, this power, um, the power does 20 damage to each water energy attached to Dark Gyarados to the Pokemon that, not, that knocked out Dark Gyarados. Apply weaknesses and resistance. This power does not work if Dark Gyarados is asleep, confused, or paralyzed. Not bad at all. I mean, it only has 70 HP, but a lot of cards didn't have a lot of HP back then. So, yeah, anyways, let's get to the next card. We got a... Wow, a Hollow Rare Kangaskhan from 1995. This is probably one of the original sets. Pretty nice. A Natu. So this one's not uh, an extremely old card. I mean, well, I guess it does. It's a pretty old card, but not as old as the ones we just saw. Okay, we got a Dugong with Aurora Beam. Yeah, this one looks like a, a from the original set. Executor, same thing. Apollo Whirl, not bad. An Oddish, or an Ordish, a Houndour, Generation 2. Not bad at all. Has that dark type. It's pretty decent. A War Turtle, a Fero, Sentru, a Light Piloswine. What? So there's dark and light. I did not know that. So, what does. Uh, is there a difference between the two? I'm not 100% sure. Looks like it's weak to grass, but it resists electric. Alright, so it has the ability uh, Fluffy Wool. During your opponent's turn, if Light Pile swings your active Pokemon, is damaged by your opponent's attack. Flip a coin if heads, this attacking Pokemon is now asleep. Wow, pretty decent. The next card is an Abra, a Jinx, an Arbok, uh oh, a Dark War Turtle, okay, interesting. Pikachu, looks like this is the original set. I'm sure this card's pretty valuable. A Machoke. Goldeen. Goldeen. A Machop. Graveler. Wow, this art looks pretty old. Yeah, this, it's 2002 though, so it's not too old. I mean, 14 years ago? That's still pretty old, but I mean, not as old as, as the originals. A, wow, a Dark Violet Plume Hollow. I wonder how much this is worth, but it has the ability... Uh, hey Fever, no trainer cards can be played. Interesting ability there. Hollowag, a Lickitung, a Seal, a Zatu, a, wow, an original set Charmander, pretty nice. Dratini, Rhyhorn, a Scyther, that's pretty cool. Is that a hollow? No, it's not hollow. I thought maybe it might be, but no. And whoa, this is a Cyndaquil with the e-reader uh, slot. I don't think many cards had that. And plus the art looks pretty sweet. So this was definitely the Game Boy era. So let's see, what would that be? Yeah, 2002. And wow, a Dragonite the first movie edition. I don't know if that's rare or not, but it's in pretty good shape. So it has the uh, power special delivery. Once, you're, once during your turn, you may draw a card. If you do, choose a card from your hand and put it on top of your deck. This power can't be used if Dragonite's asleep, paralyzed, or confused. A Dark Jolteon. Whoa. That's a pretty cool art right there. And it just evolves from a regular Eevee. Not bad. 
Got a Dark Quilava. Nice art. Wow. A Hollow Rare Lapras. Nice. Although its attacks aren't really that great. Still, that looks, that's a pretty card. I mean, look at the, the nice uh, holographic stars in the background. Very cool. I like the holographic designs in these older cards. And we got a Magmar. A Zapdos with the e-reader stuff. So it has a Poke Body ability, anti-lightning. You can attach lightning energy cards from your hand to Zapdos. What? Huh? How would you even put... Huh. That's interesting. Huh, how do you get electric energies onto it? Hmm. Never know. I don't know. That's weird. It's interesting. We got a Mew. I'm sure this is a pretty valuable card. Wow. A, <laughs> a Hollow Rare Machamp. Now that's pretty cool. I like the art here. I know I'm familiar with this card because actually I had a neighbor that pr basically took all my Machamps. And I'm pretty sure he took hollow ones too, so it's just kind of unfortunate that he took those away from me. Of course, I wasn't really into the trading card game at the time, but still, yeah, it's interesting, you know, this card looks really nice. A Dragonair. A jar uh, Dark Charmeleon. Okay. Wow, the first movie Mewtwo. Wow. So, energy absorption and cyber. I'm sure this card's pretty valuable if it's in uh, if it's in good condition. A Mary. A Hollow Clefable. Is it a rare? Yes, it is a rare. Nice. It has the move Metronome. So, choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. Uh, metronome copies that attack except for its energy cost and anything else in order to use that attack. Not bad. So now, minimize all damage done by attacks of Clefable is reduced by 20. So that's what minimize does. Okay. Then we got a Lickitung, a Farfetch, looks like some from the original set, a Seedra, Seeking, a Snorlax, definitely from the original set based on how it looks, Tangela, a, a Dodrio with the ability Retreat Aid. As long as your Dodrio is benched, uh, pay one energy less to retreat your active Pokemon. Not bad. A Persian, is that a Hollow? No, it isn't. But it kind of looked like it for a second there. A Squirtle. Interesting. Yeah, this card's not in good shape. Yeah, look at the... If it will focus or not. But yeah, it's kind of a little dirty. Uh, Cubone. Dark Octillery. Interesting. Another Persian. Starmie. Oh, two Starmies. Another Bulbasaur. Wow, whoa! This is a Hollow Flareon. Hollow Rare. Man, this card looks so cool. I like the colors they used in this. Wow. Some of these cards are really neat. And I can't wait to go back to my uh, Pokemon collection box and see what I have in there. I know I have one card that's pretty neat. Uh, I think it's pretty valuable, too. I can't wait to show that off. But other than that, I really don't know what's in my box. So, yeah, let's see. Execute. A Tauros. Looks like the one we, uh, well, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but, you know, it looks like the one from the Generations box. Has the same art, but a different design on the outside. A Kadabra. Wow, okay, so a Hollow Rare Pincer. Not bad. It has to move Guillotine. Nice. Then we got a Jolteon Hollow. Pretty, pretty sweet. And let's see what else we got. A Hollow Vaporeon! Wow, my sister kept a good collection of cards here. Let's see, is that... Is this it? Oh no, oh man, I almost forgot about a card here. Then we got a regular Eevee. Pretty nice. And the last card of this is a Rhydon. Okay. So, yeah. I thought a lot of these cards are pretty interesting. I kind of want to check the values of all these. Because, yeah, some of these cards seem like they can be pretty valuable if they're in good condition. I mean, these aren't necessarily in good condition, but kind of curious to see if these were in good condition, how much these would be worth. But it's always cool to go check uh, check uh, all the old cards that were around. And I thought this was a cool video to do. Hopefully, I'll have more in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you did, be sure to leave a like and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw this episode of the Pokemon Trading Card Game content. See you guys later.